Hi, my name is Mark Coniglio and I'm the creator of the software Isadora. Isadora, we're here at the Future Walk because Isadora is, has always been pointed towards one thing and that is to empower performers on the stage to use real-time interaction to manipulate media, meaning sound, video and light, in response to the performer's actions because this has always been our vision for how performances of the future will take place. Now the thing is, we've actually been making this future for over 20 years and I created the software for myself as an artist at first, but now it's being used in any number of ways, used by artists and theaters and dance performances, but also by corporations like Zoom who use Isadora each year in their grand live event called Zoomtopia. So what we'd like to do today is just to give you a little bit of a taste of what Isadora can do in this very special idea of controlling media in real time. So I'm going to sit down for a second here. If my little camera is going to follow me, I'm going to show you a couple things. So let's start with this. Now on the screen behind me, you just see a little background. And so one thing I can do is that I can hit a button and I can bring up a live feed of myself. Hello, self. There I am. So I'm able to now have that. And then another thing that a lot of media server programs can do is that I can change the video and show an effect. So for example, now I've got this effect called dots that turns me into a bunch of big dots, right? But this is where the real difference happens is that now I'm gonna hit a button that allows the sound of my voice to control those dots. And so if I go ba, 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 you see that there's an instantaneous response as my voice modulates the size of the dots. And here's a slightly more strange effect, but it's the same idea. The sound of my voice causes it to react, right? So that means as a performer, if I want to talk very softly like this, but then suddenly go, bah, I change the image in that way. So that's the kind of thing that we want to do with Isadora. But it's not just my voice. There's any number. There's some devices here on the table. There's a stream deck. There's these sliders. I also have a sensor in my phone. And that's what I want to demonstrate now is how I can use my phone to control this image. So now, if I sit here, you can see that as I move the phone in space, the image behind me follows it perfectly. So I'm able to use this device as a way of influencing the way the image is presented. And I could be wearing this on my body so that I would move. But another way is that we really do motion capture to allow the body to directly control the image. Now, over here next to me is my colleague L who's not trained as a dancer, but is happy to help us today by dancing inside of this suit. So this is a motion capture suit. It's like what they use in Hollywood, except that unlike those where they have these white markers, this one is completely self-contained. You don't have to have any cameras in the room or anything special. It actually just measures the movement of the body, sends it over to Isadora, where we can use that information directly. So I'm gonna calibrate this device now. Ready? And so L's going to stand still for a moment. And now the device is calibrated. So to make it clear that this motion capture is working, I'm going to start with a very simple avatar. And you can see that the avatar is holding a little piece of video and that actually the size of the video and the orientation changes in response to the way that L's moving, right? So, but that's probably not the way we'd use that on stage. We actually want to use this in a way that adds a new level of artistry to the way that performers perform. So instead, now I'm going to change to something a little bit more evocative where L is able to paint using his whole body moving through space. And now, if you just for a moment pause L, just hold that, and you'll see the image will fade away. And if L now very slowly moves, you'll see that it leaves traces, but they're actually very, very thin, yeah? Because the width of the lines is directly based on the speed with which the performer moves. So if L speeds up, the lines get wider. So this is like a musical instrument. The intensity with which you're moving changes the response and how it looks. So here's another visualization of the body. This is one that we call Rope Man. And so Rope Man just kind of bounces around whenever you dance. Now, Elle, I'd like you to actually face the camera for a minute so they can sort of see what it's like to see a performer dancing along with this image. Matt. And so just in one final example of how one might use this, if you will imagine for a second an opera where they have a big painting behind the opera, 
uh, the opera singers. And, you know, that's a backdrop, right? We know that. And backdrops are usually static. But in this situation, I'm going to give a backdrop to L, and this backdrop is a 360 degree video. And so if you watch L move, you'll see that L has control of the way in which this horizon is oriented. So we can either see the sky, or we can see the desert, or, yes, there it is, and we can see any part of the image. So again, the world of the stage is controlled by the performer, and that's what we like to see happen with Isadora. Yeah? So, that's something having to do with, that's what Isadora has been for for a long time. I want to introduce one last thing, which is our new feature that we're introducing in a couple of months called IzzyCast. So during the pandemic, it became necessary to actually have performances where people were in different geographic locations. And we responded to this and eventually teamed up with Zoom. We're using the Zoom Video SDK to now allow copies of Isadora to share high quality 1080p video, high quality audio, but also data between basically anywhere on the globe. The image that you're seeing is actually from our, our uh, office in Berlin. There's no one there because all of us are actually here at the trade show. So we kind of set up a diorama or a static scene. But what's important here is that on the other end in Berlin is a PTZ camera, means pan, tilt, and zoom. And I can control the way in which that camera moves from here in Frankfurt. So I'm gonna just like move the camera left a little bit or move it right a little bit. So I have direct control of wherever the camera's looking I can also look up or look down, like so. And also I can jump to specific locations. If I hit a button here, it's gonna jump and look at a little Izzy over there, or we can jump and look at our two friends, the two ducks. So anyway, but this is really significant because now not only can you receive audio and video from a remote location, you can control what's happening in that remote location. And that's an innovation that I feel like is something new that we've added to the game now, being able to control the world you're in. And the final way that you can control that world, if I go back to the original scene, is that we also have a light and that's also connected to Isadora using a special kind of interface called a DMX interface. And I can do things, for instance, like I can control the color of that light by doing this. You can see I can change the color. And I can also take that light and I can fade it out and even turn it off to completely. Right? So IzzyCast is an amazing new tool that will allow for the possibility of performers live on stage being combined with performers in remote locations and for those uh, combinations to interact with each other, sharing data that can control Isadora in just the ways I've shown earlier in this demo. So that's a little introduction to Isadora. I hope that gives you a taste of what it's like. And if you'd like, please download our demo. It does everything except save. If you want to save, you have to then eventually pay for it. But if you want to try it out and look at our example patches, have a look because I think that'll give you a taste of what the possibilities of the software are. Thanks a lot.